Hey everyone, Paul here from TabletopGamer.com and in this video I'm going to do an unboxing and a build of the um, Numskull model from uh, the Brood faction of uh, Dark Age. Um, this is a resin based model. I'm going to open it up and take a quick look. So first thing we're going to look at is the, uh, the card itself. So I'll zoom in on that. So that is what the Numskull card looks like. And we will also take a quick look at what um, it could look like uh, when it's professionally painted. So there's a picture of it. All right, and let's dive into the box and see what is inside. So the first thing we get is uh, a large base, one of these, and we get a, um, a base cover, like um, it basically fits like that. And if we look back at the picture of what it looks like, you can see that it covers the base here. So it comes with this, um, and then we've got four pieces to the actual uh, model itself. Um, I'll start with the main torso. This is what the uh, torso looks like here. I love the, uh, the sculpting of the face on this model. Let's see if I can zoom in, you guys can see that. I mean, isn't that awesome? I think that just looks totally awesome. The detail's really good. Really cool looking model. I'm definitely going to, I'm not a brute player, but uh, I'm definitely gonna have to build one of these out just for uh, my display case. Um, so that's the torso here, and then the legs, um, so what the legs look like. It's got kind of a neat, um, like the back of the legs, Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Check out the detail on that. And where the knees would be. Pretty cool looking. Um, then we've got the two arms. That's what they look like. And this is the other arm. Zoom out a little bit. You can see the whole thing. So this is the other arm. All right, so um, basically it comes with these four pieces. So you got the, the, uh, the base with the base itself with the cover that goes on top. Uh, and then we've got the torso. Um, we've got the legs that basically just fit underneath here. There's a little bit of piece of uh, resin that I gotta cut off when I build it. Otherwise I'd show you guys how it kind of fits together, but I have to cut that off first. And then we've got his, um, his two arms, one on each side. So those are the pieces that you get in this kit. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to build this guy out because I want to see what he looks like. Um, I'm going to cut off these extra excess pieces of resin here, clean him up a little bit, 
and I'll glue him together and I want to take a look at what he looks like when he's put together. So I'm going to pause the video here and then I'm going to build the guy and then I'm going to come back and show you guys uh, what he looks like. All right, so I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, guys, I'm back and this guy is now built. So we'll, um, this is what he looks like from that angle. What I'll do is I'll zoom in on this camera here so you guys can see what, uh, what he looks like built, all right? So let me zoom in a little bit. That is what he looks like. It's pretty easy to build. Um, all the pieces just kind of fit together. There's no, um, there's no modifications or anything needed. It just kind of, you know, all the pieces just snugly fit, put in a little bit of glue, um, some super glue and it fits really nicely. So I, I like that about the, uh, um, dark age, uh, miniatures that I haven't had any problems building any of them yet. Like everything just really nicely fits together. There's no problems. I'll zoom and show you guys a little bit close up, a little bit more close, what he looks like. I think my favorite is just the, the whole look on his face. It's just so mean looking. I mean, look at that. That's just awesome. Oh, it's actually funny because I was looking at his, um, looking at his card and one of the special rules or special abilities, um, uh, that he has is causes fear. So, I mean, can you imagine seeing a guy like this? Let me look, zoom in on that face again. Uh, let's get a better close up there. Come on, you can focus. There we go. I can see how that could cause fear. <laughs> I think it's a pretty cool model. Um, definitely gonna paint this guy out and put him in my display case. Um, like I said, I don't play brood, um, at least not yet. I, uh, I have been looking at some of the models and they look pretty cool. So I don't know, I might end up building a brood army as well. Um, my main army is going to be Dragiri for now, but, um, I definitely like this guy. So I'm going to paint him and put him in my uh, display cabinet just because he looks so cool. So anyways, um, if you guys have any questions about the, uh, brood numbskull or, um, any questions really about uh, Dark Age or um, tabletop gaming, leave your comments below this video and I will uh, do my best to answer your questions. And uh, if you like this video and you like the uh, video series that I'm doing on the unboxing and painting um, the uh, Dark Age miniatures, um, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up on the videos, let me know that you guys like these and I'll continue to make more for you guys, all right? So that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.